And we do begin with that breaking news tonight out of Oconee County. A deputy has been shot in the line of duty, and right now we do not know the condition of the deputy. Sky 4 is live over Black Bass Road near Lake Hartwell. This is where the shooting happened. The scene still very active tonight. We have live team coverage from across two counties, but first we begin in Oconee County where we find our Rashad Williams. And Rashad, this all started with a traffic stop along Highway 11. Absolutely, that's how it started and ended in this area. I don't want to give you a look. We've been on Rock Hill Road for a few hours now. We're just a few blocks away from Black Bass Road, again, where this all unfolded. Not too long ago, we saw an armored truck drive into this area that is blocked off. We're still working to figure out um, what's going on with that truck at this moment, but let's go ahead and give you a look from Sky 4. The sheriff says deputies were conducting a traffic stop earlier this afternoon on South Highway 11 at Mount Pleasant Road on a white Chevrolet Silverado. During the course of that traffic stop, the driver of the truck sped away from the scene and led deputies on a pursuit. According to the sheriff, the driver of the pickup made his way down the area of Black Bass where the shots were fired. A deputy was hit by the gunfire and the driver of the pickup then drove away. The deputy was transported to the hospital and that suspect was later located on Black Bass Road and was shot by deputies, according to the sheriff. With the roads blocked off, one woman who lives nearby the scene who was waiting to get home told us earlier she was worried about her significant other. I was on my way home from work and I was talking with my wife and she said she'd been hearing shots firing in the background. And I said, it sounds like someone's doing target practice or something. And she's like, well, no, I, I don't know what's going on. So then I had gotten out, went to Walmart and she called me right when I was inside the store and she said, take your time, you can't get in, the roads are blocked off, they're looking for somebody, I think there's been a shooting or something. And no word at this time on the identity of the suspect or the deputy who was shot and continuing our live coverage is Peyton Furtado. Peyton is live at Greenville Memorial. Peyton, what are you seeing there at the hospital? Yeah, thank you, Rashad. Here at Greenville Memorial Hospital, we're seeing a much smaller law enforcement presence. I'm going to get out of the way so you can see exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, just a few law enforcement vehicles still dot the road in front of Greenville Memorial's emergency room, but I want to help you take a look at the video from earlier today. Let's take a look at that video. As you can see, it was just barely controlled chaos. Law enforcement vehicles from Oconee County, from Greenville County, from Highway Patrol, from Anderson County lined the street outside the emergency room. Sirens blared as marked and unmarked cars weaved in and out of traffic, speeding and swerving, arriving soon after an ambulance brought that shot deputy in. We saw people in and out of uniform rush out of their cars and into the hospital. Just outside, we watched as a lifeline flying in that suspect landed, unloading the injured person. At this time, we don't know how the suspect or the deputy's conditions are right now. Officials have told us that no one is dead at this time. And Oconee County and Greenville County Coroner's Office have not responded. Again, that's what officials have told us at this time. Sheriff Mike Crenshaw out of Oconee County says he's going to have Greenville County Sheriff's Office take the lead. That's at his request as well as SLED's request. At this point, that's what we know here at Greenville Memorial Hospital. For now, live in Greenville County, I'm Peyton Furtado, WYFF News 4. Peyton, thank you. And taking you back to Oconee County now, some three miles down the road from the scene where the deputy was shot was a life flight landing that was along South Union Road in Westminster. Ray Arena was there as a life flight was leaving but has moved to the law enforcement center now. Ray, what's the mood like there? And so far it is all quiet here at the Oconee County Sheriff's Office. But just a few hours ago, just a few miles down the road, it was absolutely packed with law enforcement and first responders. And we're gonna go ahead and give you a view of what we were seeing just a few short hours ago at that church. Now Sky 4 got this exclusive video over South Union Baptist Church where a life flight helicopter had landed. It also showed a stretcher being loaded into that aircraft. Now Scott Smith, who is the deputy director for Oconee County Emergency Management, says the church's parking lot was used as a landing zone for that life flight helicopter. He confirmed that two people were taking from the area to Greenville Memorial Hospital after a deputy involved shooting. Now Smith says the conditions of those two are not yet known at this time and Oconee County Coroner Carl Addis says his office is aware of the deputy involved shooting but as of an hour and a half ago and again two people are in the hospital. We'll bring you more information as we can and then we're going to send that back to you. Thank you. Ray Urena reporting there and uh, 
He was saying that um, Carl Addis, the cor the coroner, had said that as of that time there was no. But let's go to back to Greenville Memorial Hospital now, uh, where Peyton Furtado has some updated information. Peyton, and this family and in, uh, in your thoughts and your prayers. Very tough job law enforcement does on a day in day out basis, and pray for them every day uh, for the job that uh, tough job that they have to do. Uh, but uh, he was transported. Uh, there was a short pursuit uh, after after our deputy was shot, uh, in which uh, uh, other deputies encountered the suspect, and the suspect was shot. So I don't uh, know the status on him, other than that he's in surgery as well. And uh, I thought certainly with his family too, you know, during this time, but. Uh, Due to a conflict of interest uh, with SLED, uh, contacted Sheriff Hobart Lewis with Greenville County Sheriff's Office in Greenville County. will be handling this investigation uh, of our officer involved shooting. Sheriff, can you say how long the deputy has been with, with you guys? Is he a veteran? Is he someone kind of newer to the force? I know you don't want to say the name, obviously, with what's yeah. going on, but any, any details about the deputy's experience with your, your office? He, certainly, I would consider him a veteran deputy, uh, an experienced deputy. And uh, get good, good, good deputy. You know, an excellent deputy. I've had no issues with him at all. Sheriff, do you know how severe the injuries are at this point? Uh, I think it would be critical. Uh, but uh, again, you know, he's he's in surgery, uh, and uh, so we're here uh, with the family, and we're we're praying with the family, and certainly there to support them at this time. Do you have any idea what's being operated on right now? What kinds of injuries he has? I do not. I do not. Sheriff, can you tell us how other agencies helped you all out today? Absolutely. Uh, you know, this was an operation that we had going on in Oconee County that we were actually working with the Pickens County Sheriff's Office and uh, being uh, just a, a proactive criminal enforcement operation. So, so Pickens deputies were, were assisting us. Uh, some Pickens deputies, I think, were on the scene of this. I haven't confirmed that. But. Uh, Gosh, Anderson County Sheriff Chad McBride, I appreciate him. You know, he, he showed up. Pickens County, of course, has, has offered help to us. Um, you know, that's the thing about South Carolina sheriffs. When something like this happens, they reach out. We, we support each other. I've had calls from from uh, probably every sheriff in the, I know in the upstate and, and, and further than that. So offering help, uh, you know, it wasn't long. As, right after I got on scene, Sheriff Lewis called me. He was here at the hospital waiting on, on my deputy to get here. So he's been a big support to us in, in uh, handling the investigation going forward. Sheriff, did this suspect try to shoot other deputies earlier today when he was apprehended or they were apprehended? Uh, that, that will be part of the investigation, I think, that, that Greenville County Sheriff's Office will, will be handling. And, and we'll let them, I don't want to get into speculation at this point because I wasn't on scene. So we'll let Greenville County release that at the appropriate time. In terms of the deputy and the suspect, were they both airlifted to the hospital? Or are they both here? I guess, can you speak on kind of how that process went about? I, I think from my understanding, uh, and I may be wrong, but I think both of them were, were brought by ambulance to Greenville County. Sure. One, one, uh, one was airlifted, one was okay. brought by ambulance. Do you know which one was, I do. was which, are you able to say? I, don't, I mean, does it matter? How long do you guys, obviously a big investigation, I mean, is this, you know, a small community, a, a rural community, for the people living out there, how long can they expect a law enforcement presence investigating something of this magnitude? Well, any officer involved shooting is obviously going to take several hours. There are a couple different locations in Oconee County that will have to be moved to. Uh, so our Office of Professional Standards is working this end at the hospital and gathering evidence. Our criminal, criminal Investigations Division is working down in Oconee County and obviously working with the Oconee County Sheriff's Office. Uh, so there's a lot of moving parts and pieces. I'm sure it will may inconvenience some folks, but it'll be, a, it'll be several hours. Sheriff, we're hearing that another suspect might still be on the run. Can you speak to that at all? We don't have any knowledge of any other suspects. From, from, from all indications, uh, we don't see any additional danger or threat to our community in Oconee County uh, that there was just the one suspect. Of course, we're still following up, but at this point in time, we don't see any additional threats to, uh, to anyone in our county. Was this just a routine traffic stop? Do you know why it happened? Yes, just a routine traffic stop. Sheriff, do you know of any possible charges that could be filed right now? Uh, uh, again, that that would come from our agency, and obviously you're going to have uh, assault and battery with intent to kill. Felon in possession of a firearm could be possible. We don't know. It's, it's
very early on in this investigation to really speak a whole lot about that. Uh, and it depends on the, the outcome here as well. You know, and we're certainly praying for the deputy, praying for his family, and we encourage the community, please join us today in praying for them as well as the folks at Oconee County that were out there. Uh, anytime this happens, it's a devastating blow to our law enforcement families. So we just ask you please continue to pray for the sheriff and his folks. Do we have any idea how severe the injuries are for that suspect? We don't. I, I do not, other than that he's in surgery at this time. Exactly. The place the, the deputy was shot and the suspect was found, are those the same place or was there kind of a, a distance in between the two? We we'll talk about kind of these couple of scenes yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's a distance. There was a traffic stop and then uh, the suspect takes off in a short pursuit. Then our deputy is uh, is shot at that at the end of that pursuit, uh, and then uh, and then our suspect. I think the investigation will show the suspect was shot not not there, but at a at a later later time when our deputies encountered him. Sheriff, you mentioned that the, the deputy is in surgery right now. How long have they been in surgery for, and when are they expected to be out of there? I think all afternoon uh, that that he's been in surgery. So I I don't know when when that will be. Uh, but certainly we're here with the family to support him. You know, we'll be conducting, you know, Rimble County certainly is in charge of this investigation, but you know, we'll conduct a parallel from a policy standpoint, procedure standpoint. That's standard standard procedure for us or any, any agency as well. Anything else you all want to say? I just, you know, I know Sheriff Crenshaw's got a lot on him right now, but the folks at Prisma have been outstanding with the family as well as law enforcement. Obviously, both uh, persons who were shot, they've worked very diligently on them. So when you ask about surgery and, and the, all the ins and outs of that, there, there was a lot going on for sure, uh, as well as the EMS folks who certainly should uh, be praised for their life-saving effort for our deputy. Uh, it was amazing, really, when they brought him in, how hard they were working and uh, getting his family here. SLED worked on it. Obviously, we worked on it. Oconee, Pickens, Anderson, uh, Homeland Security. I hope I'm not leaving anybody out. Uh, Prisma's police department here uh, was just outstanding. There was a lot going on in a short amount of time, and uh, they just did a tremendous job. Thank you so, so much. Good seeing you, Mr. Two sheriffs standing together, briefing the press and the public on what happened this afternoon in Oconee County when a deputy was involved in a shooting. Oconee County Sheriff Mike Crenshaw, Greenville County Sheriff Hobart Lewis, filling us in on what's happened. And we understand that the deputy is in surgery at this hour. That's right, and Sheriff Crenshaw, Crenshaw saying he probably should be considered in critical condition. The suspect who was shot also is in surgery at this hour. Uh, Sheriff Hobart Lewis of Greenville uh, was there. Uh, Sheriff Crenshaw was complimenting him for being there at the scene uh, when he arrived. and. Uh, all law enforcement, Anderson, Pickens, Greenville, even Homeland Oconee, Security, Homeland Security, even Prisma, uh, the Sh Greenville County Sheriff saying also that there is no knowledge of other suspects mm -hmm. in this case. Um, but obviously a very critical situation right now. And Hobart Lewis again asking for prayers for this deputy, for his family, and certainly for the people of Oconee County as this is a fluid and ongoing situation. An ongoing situation. And remember for the latest on this breaking news story, you can always turn to WYFF4.com and of course the WYFF4 mobile app.